Guys, we are in that vegan teacher's house. We are living here at the moment and we're going to show you what it's like to live with the famous, that vegan teacher. Mm. Three, two, one, sing! Eating animals is wrong, McDonald's. Hurting animals is wrong, McDonald's. Why the fuck aren't you vegan yet, Mr. President Trump? Ooh, is it because you're stuck on the toilet trying hard to push out a dump? <clears throat> Well, let's sing, shall we? KFC, we're so happy to be going cruelty free. Eat your vegetables! Mm -hmm. So we are on our bed, which is actually in her studio. So this is where we're sleeping. It's just like a pull-out couch. And this is where she makes all her amazing TikTok videos and music. So let's go have a look. <clears throat> this is all our stuff just packed out in the corner. We are, we have been traveling for three months now. So this is our area. Um, and so it's very kind that she invited us into her home. So this is where it all happens. The dancing, the content. She's got all her awesome cards here. Stop paying people to kill for you. This is exactly what you're doing if you're not vegan. You are paying people to stab animals in the throat, to eat their flesh, to steal their milk, their eggs, their skin, their wool, etc. from them. So you have blood on your hands if you're not vegan. She's got all her cool little necklaces. So make sure you follow her. And I like this one too. Because most people would say they wouldn't eat a cat or a dog, but they'd happily eat birds, cows, pigs, and fish who are no different. They're sentient individuals and they all want to live just like us. <laughs> this is the famous call to God banana, I think. She made an awesome video with that. So she's very creative. Um, and this is the one and only ukulele that she used for her eating animals is wrong McDonald's video. Jack, do you want to play a song for us? Okay. All right, let's swap. I don't know how to play the ukulele. <clears throat> yeah, but you're good at it because you, you do guitar. So I think you should um, play a song about how you should eat pussy, not animals. Eating pussy all night long. Is much better than eating animals. Very good. Show us your shirt. So eat pussy, oh, not animals. There's a bit of a stain. Damn. You ruined the famous shirt. All right, you continue with the tour. <laughs> um, is there anything else in here? Well, there's lots of amazing projects that she's um, doing here. It's like quite inspiring to see all this stuff here. And she's obviously a very dedicated activist and one of the most impactful, powerful activists, animal rights activists, if not the most impactful animal rights activists. Honestly, she has been able to generate hundreds of millions of views through her music, her creativity and using social media in the way that she does. Um, she's grabbed the attention of celebrities like Gordon Ramsay. He literally responded to her video, which is amazing to get a platform for veganism and animal rights on like his, his channel as like a world famous chef. And she's obviously grabbed the attention of not only celebrities, but like famous YouTubers with like tens of millions of subscribers and they've made videos about her and it's just it's just amazing it's so cool to be here she's just such a unique activist um so i think we should show you the kitchen now because it's really cute um so let's go to the kitchen it's very colorful she's all about colorful ways to bring the message so we've got the kitchen chairs vegan and don't be vegetarian be vegan because vegetarian 
veganism is the exact opposite of veganism because vegetarians pay for animals to be raped, enslaved, tortured, abused, and murdered in the dairy, egg, honey, leather, wool, fur industries. Well, I know some vegetarians choose not to wear animal skin, but um, they'll pay for dairy cows to be raped and murdered. So it doesn't make sense morally. It's not morally consistent. Um, and to be morally consistent means to be vegan and to stop abusing animals. So I like that message. And she's got all her other cool messages here. Veganism is a social justice movement. Be brave, be vegan. I love it. And we've even got messages on the cute little fridge here. This is also, this is an Italian apartment. It's very cute. Um, what does this say? Zoom in. When you die, will you be remembered as an animal abuser or an animal defender? Are you vegan? So she's just got these powerful messages that she's always bringing into her videos and she's getting millions of people, particularly the younger generations as well, which is amazing to grab their attention. They're the future, right? And she's grabbing their attention through all these messages and creativity and she's changing a lot of people. Um, to become vegan and animal rights activists and she told us that she painted all of this which is very cute so I think she's just in in the process of making maybe putting some messages up here but we've got her little cup here cow's milk is for baby cows no shit you're not a fucking baby cow so stop stealing the milk from mothers who were raped and had their babies taken away from them and the male calves are murdered because they don't produce milk. The dairy industry is violent, rape, abuse, and murder. So I like that. And um, I think that's it of the tour. And obviously we're going to get her on camera soon and show you what it's like living with the famous That Vegan Teacher. And this Holocaust. WatchDominion.com. If you're not vegan, you're an animal abuser. Dairy is rape. Meat is murder. Are you near you? You know, these would really, really look good on Jack, actually. Yeah, I think they would. Jack, these are perfect for you. Maybe you know, the white ones. Especially for the the OnlyFans. I think this would... White. Yeah, white, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you were the it's way... It's a lot to hold in. There you go, there you go. Here you go, Jack. I'll buy those for you, okay? Thank you. Just a gift from me to you. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> That's my style, full of colors. And uh, we're trying to figure out if it's vegan or not. And it, we've all decided we can't see the label, but it definitely feels Yeah, like it does polyester. feel like it probably is yeah. synthetic materials, which yeah. is good. Cool. Um, it's, it's funny that she doesn't think of wool. I think it is because in French, len is. So how how is it spelt? L a n a. Wait, where did it go? Yeah, yeah. Wool. Okay, hold on. Yeah. 
All right, so we decided to ask the lady and she said, no, no, there's no animal products in here. And then she said, look, it's viscose and lana. But I don't know Italian, but I knew that in French, len that means wool. So there you go. It seemed, it seemed so nice at first. And then we realized that there's some, um, some wool in here, which is really sad. So Very sad. not buying that. No, absolutely not. What about these? Do you think they're stuffed with feathers? Let's check. It, potentially, yeah. but it is cheaper, so it might be synthetic. Yeah, 100% polyester. So no one's feathers are in there, which is good. So that means it's vegan. That's vegan. No one was exploited for this jacket. Yeah, I like these. And my husband said, I don't get them. I don't understand why you get a jacket without arms. <laughs> That's the part of him that gets pulled. <laughs> What else have we got? Right here. Sorry, my finger's kind of not working that great. I'm trying to I can, um, camera, but if you can... I'm not seeing any... Is this some um, uh, materia? Oh, here. Lana, cashmere. Oh, okay. So here we have more animal products. It's, uh, Non-vegan, not vegan. Mm. Animali. Si, ciao. I find it cute. I'm not even seeing any tags in here. What? But it's got so. to, this has to be vegan though, come on. Right? Yeah, yeah I'd say Italia. so. Is it? Dalla smona alla 2X. Is, is, uh, is this a t uh, vegan? Vegana? No animali? Lana, no, no, lana. È cotone questo, madame. Cotone e questo è impermeabile. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. All right. So, apparently this is vegan. But how much is it? There's not a lot of information. No, there isn't a lot of information. <laughs> All right. My favorite color is blue, and I would probably get. Yeah, yeah, I like the light blue too. Reminds me of the coat I had when I was young, but I also like the purple. But yeah. you know, I also like the khaki sometimes for that earthy tone. So yeah. I have to get, that's why I never go shopping because I get three of everything. <laughs> Wonder why my closets are stuffed full. <laughs> why do you like the shape? Um, I don't know. It just looks familiar. <laughs> Yeah, it does. Yeah. It's a good shape. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Honestly, I just cancer causing me to suffer to the screen before they were murdered. The hardest part of the market to see right here. Totally part of it. Lots of chickens over there. And, um, really sad. I don't understand why they don't have giant sections where they sell. Most people don't realize that she's come from a cycle of violence. The baby cows are taken away from their mothers and they are killed. Their boys are turned into veal. Their girls are put back into the cycle of violence. Not a baby. Show them to watch Dominion Park. Okay. Okay. So here's the shirt that Tash is wearing today, and this says it all. This poor pig is actually being confined to her babies there, and sometimes they accidentally step on them and kill them. And this is something that you can prevent if you don't buy any more in the future. Tash has a microphone here that's wireless. It's attached to the camera over there. Oh. So these are the bodies of the Holocaust victims rotating around 
chickens who were just six weeks old, shackled by the feet, electrocuted in a bath of water, and then they had their throat slit just for all these people to devour in their bodies, their flesh, which is completely unnecessary because we can thrive without eating these Holocaust victims' bodies. Ready? Stay vegan, eat tomatoes. <laughs> yeah? Action. Stay vegan and eat your peaches. Yeah. Woo! Okay, Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. Okay, okay ready? Three, two, yeah. one. Stay vegan and eat what the hell the, uh, whatever the hell these are. <laughs> we have no idea. We're what are they? The, not the best vegan. Wait, I don't know. I thought they were like soybeans, but they're, they're, I don't know. Let us know. Google it. Let us know. We're sure they're vegan though. They don't look like an animal. No. Let's no, go they're vegan. Open. Yeah, go vegan. <laughs> Got tongue tied. <laughs> Soy is normal. <laughs> Soy is normal. Soy is normal milk. Okay, Not so we're at this restaurant milk. and we just ordered our vegan drinks and um, we specified that we wanted oat milk or soy milk and we were told uh, later. Well, what is it you wanted again? Was it soy milk or normal milk? And Tash and I looked at each other with this look like soy is normal milk for adults. <laughs> Soy is normal milk. Soy is normal milk, not breast milk. That's not normal for us. That's for baby cows. Soy milk. Okay, so we're just walking from the cafe and we created some TikTok videos with yes. Katie. And we did this really cool um, like questionnaire where Jack was playing the non-vegan <laughs> and he was you can come in and asking come all in the, the typical questions with us and we would both respond. So, we... <laughs> um, and yeah, it was a really cool video. <laughs> and we're having lots of fun. So, and now we're on our way um, to try some Italian vegan pizza. I'm excited to try it. <laughs> Yeah. So, we'll see you there and we'll give it a little bit of a taste test. Yes. Um, and enjoy, enjoy the day. So over here also they have a big stage usually up there. And there's lots of different concerts. There's one whole thing for gamers. Um, you know Patrick the Booby Man, right? Mm -hmm. Um, he's, I'm not sure if you know, but he's actually making an animal rights video game. In some places. Great. Um, and yeah, so at his speech at the camp out, he was just talking about how he's creating his animal rights video game and showed a bit of a preview. And it's, um, the character is like, you play the role of liberating animals, yeah. the meat and dairy industry. Mm -hmm. um, so sort of starting from the role of most people, well, a lot of people already having awareness about animal testing and mm -hmm. that, so feeling good about themselves. And then it's like, oh, now I'm saving the victims of who I'm actually eating. And I just thought, wow, that's actually a really good idea. Oh, yeah. It's so it? <laughs> oh, it's only one. It must be one. I heard a bell and I thought, oh, it's going to ring a lot. <laughs> Why don't it ring? Two. Oh, mine's backwards. It is. <laughs> you can film this. Okay, good. It's funny. I don't. <laughs> yeah. is it, no, do it. Is it? I'm too fat. Okay. No, you're not. God. You're in amazing shape. Absolutely not. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> okay. Ready for action. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Never give up. Never ever give up. Never give up on the animals. Never stop trying to defend them. Never steal their milk, their eggs, their bodies, or their lives. Watch Dominion.com for the truth. Listen to her.
What have you got here? Bread. Bread. Pizza. Pizza. Whoa, big zucchini slabs. Yeah. You have something yellow on yours that we don't have. I'm jealous. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? <laughs> but the crust seems nice. Mm. Pepperoni italiani. Pepperoni. Vegani. Yeah. Pepperoni <laughs> me does not mean pepperoni. It means yeah. bell pepper. Peppers. Yes. Yeah. Mm. What don't we have on ours above your head? Oh no. Breast milk. Yeah. No breast milk. Yeah. No cheese necessary. And um, if you guys ever want to have pizza that's a little more oomphy, because you're missing the cheese, you can always just add olive oil. Right? Because what is cheese really? It's just fat and salt, right? So you can drizzle this. I'm going to drizzle this all on my edges there. They look a bit naked and sad. They do look a bit naked they and look, sad. See, she agrees. I like them naked and sad. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that sounds so bad. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay, wait, I'll just, yeah, let's redo that. <laughs> ah, look what I found. I do have something yellow. Oh. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to spread that out. <laughs> Some kid is screaming because their parents are giving them animals to eat, raping their vi vegan virginity away from them. Stop it. Not good. Animals. I'm just trying to figure out. I thought it was an ocean theme, but I'm, I'm incorrect. <laughs> okay, so no, don't film yet. We haven't rehearsed. It's fine. Okay. Jack. Okay, so <laughs> what we see here is we. <laughs> that is the old fashioned. Um, that, oh, oh, what's it called? Fans only. Before. before this is fans only before... Two centuries ago, before OnlyFans <laughs> was created. This is original fa OnlyFans, yeah. <laughs> Talk about the animals. What is that? A squash? I think Mr. Worm is eating... Squash? No, it, it, it grew out of this, uh, this head. <laughs> what the? No, I don't know. Santa is vegan now. Santa is vegan now. <laughs> the Pope. The Pope is vegan. The Pope is vegan now. <laughs> The Pope is vegan now. The Pope is vegan now. The Pope no longer eats any chickens, pigs, or cow. The Pope is vegan now. Wonderful. The Pope is not an animal abuser. I like. Think about the animals. Speak about the animals. Okay, so when you have a little kid who's been potty trained, what you do is you sit with them calmly and you remind them that um, the reason that their poop is so nice and beautiful is because they're vegan. And that they should never ever eat animals. Otherwise, their poop's going to be really hard. Constipation. Mm. Constipation. Exactly. Ugh. So, um, you know, as long as you're. Your sweetheart's poop is greenish. It's kind of good because it means they're eating lots of spinach mm. and mm. it's and kale. Yeah. Yes. As Maybe. long as it's as long as your forearm, you know you're doing well. Yeah. 
Your poop should be this long. Yeah. From here to here at least. Half your spine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who is that? So speak about the animals. Speak. Okay, I think so. The Show game me him. So the game we're playing in the second hand store is speak about the animals. So we have to somehow relate everything to the animals, and I got nothing. I what the? Let me get okay, a close this, up. Okay, this is like half of a horse or a donkey's yeah. butt, and then there's no genitalia, so that's problematic. Uh, but there's lots of lipstick, so there's that. <laughs> Uh, there's a feather in the hat, which isn't vegan, and there's a lot of self-touching on the best breast there. And he's an arrow. Is he gonna kill someone? A bow and arrow, and uh, you know, very beautiful green shoes. I say, I'm envious. He's a bit <laughs> fucked up, actually. <laughs> Creepy. What else? This is a glass dildo. That's what I brought over. Oh, is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> I'm too old. I Looks like a bloody that. anal bead. <laughs> oh, are you supposed to put this in there to do Kegel exercises? Yeah. Like for older women, you put that in, you have to try to hold it in? Yeah. Is that what that is? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Strengthen I need that. your urinary wall. <laughs> and then there's this. Nice. This is where you get like matching earrings. You get one, I get one. Nice. It has nothing to do with, the, I got nothing for the animals. Do you? Well, that's not very creative. Um, I'm sorry, I can't. <laughs> okay, Bell. The it's bells a, we saw in the dairy cows. That's right. These are bells that Torture. the dairy... Very good one. Torture devices. Tortured. Awful. They're so loud. It's not fair. It's not nice. Imagine they must be deaf. Every movement they make. Loud, loud noises bells. ringing in their ears. And here we have a child in Did a bathtub a with a toy. And, um, you know, when kids are little, they, they love animals as toys, like toy animals, right? Yes. They all do, and then it is, speciesism beats it out of them. Yeah. And then they start to eat animals, Oh, look at this. Okay, that's horrible. It's creepy. Okay, what if it, what if it's a, what if the, what if it's a bunny in a, in a cage and just pushing the bunny, no? No, it's still not. It's creepy in either way. What if it was a human being pushed around like that? Well, sometimes kids push each yeah, other. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. Maybe it's. Yeah. What's that, Jack? What's the cup up there? What is that? An M and M. M and M's are not vegan. But they should be. Mm. Now let's go to the other part of the store. Cause it's over here. So we are in a secondhand store in Italy, and we're looking at things that are vegan and things that are not too vegan. And Tash just found something. So maybe Jack found it first. I don't know. Yeah, Jack found it. So someone's skin and hair is wrapped around these glasses. Someone's body. They were murdered for this, and the skin was ripped from their bodies to be turned into some sick decoration. This is so disgusting. Yeah. Not okay. Animal skin belongs to them. Their fur, their feathers, their bodies, their lives. Yeah. Hold on. Oh my god. Wait. Okay, I don't know what this is, but it already looks bad. That looks like... I don't know what that is. He says... Help calm and relax your dog, especially outdoors. Is this some sort of like an electrical zapper? What is that? Okay, here you read it and I'll, I'll film you reading it. Read out loud. Um, it says, helps your dog feel secure during thunderstorms, fireworks, oh. social events, new pets, car travel, anxiety, and more. Secure? Oh. 
What does it do? Uh, it says how to use fasten the collar comfortably around your pet's neck, not too Ch tight. Ch <laughs> Cut off the excess. The essential oil blend will begin oh. to work immediately. Oh, it's a smell. It's oh, not an electric device. Oh, it's like Pe a pheromones, lavender, and chamomile. Oh, it's beautiful. That's interesting. I wonder if there's any scientific basis to that it works. That would be cool. Really nice to have like a jacket like that, not something, I don't know how I feel about things around their neck. Yeah. You know, kind Well, of. maybe if it goes in line with the leash and it's just, you yeah. gotta have your dogs on the leash anyway because the yeah. law and it's just not too tight. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Interesting. Hmm. What's this? Ultrasonic. Oh, hold on, let's see if that is. Okay, you read this one. All right, so here we have something that says, what do you want to read that, Tash? Ultrasonic tick and flea repeller. Okay. So does that make any scientific sense? Is there such a thing? It's like a sound and it makes the ticks scared? <laughs> it sounds a little bit the ticks go, to me. Yeah, <laughs> I agree, it sounds pseudoscience-y to me too. Much information. We're not sure. If you guys know, let us know in the comments. Check it out. Google it for us. Okay, what about this one? Hold on, what's this? Hold on, one second. And this? Oh, this is like a toy. Right? Oh, yes. That you fill it up and you chase it around. My, my dog Bella would just destroy that. She needs, she needs the Kong brand. You know that's really, really thick rubber? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Jack has some. What you got? A typewriter! <laughs> so we've been making typewriter jokes all, all week because I said, oh, go get your typewriter instead of your computer or something. And then she's showing my age. And then I was talking about how there was this joke over on, I think it was like TikTok or something or Instagram, where they, the professor at the university had said, no computers allowed in class. And so the guy was in the back row of a, a, an auditorium with like hundreds of people, and he was just like, Typing away on his typewriter. We almost need like cues, like to like a hand cue, like like I'm oh, like, yeah. like, like, like I'm done, or like, yeah, or just like last sentence or something. Should we should we go in? Yeah, let's go in. Okay. My God. You know what? We have a message for you, God. What the fuck is going on? Why are you so lazy? It's either that he's lazy, or he has zero power and needs some serious Viagra. God, where the fuck have you been? Are you dead? 